Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the latest Liga news today. I know today I was supposed to upload a video about sex bots, but that will be for tomorrow since it's almost done. But when I was in the middle of doing it, this came up and this is pretty big and this affects the Liga army in a bad way. So getting into it, um, there's been videos going around showing that Twitter has been shadow banging people using the hashtag Liga army. Um, tag and they also shadow banned um, the Aliga Army um, page, which is it just promotes Aliga. That's literally all it does, and apparently that's I guess offensive today. I don't get it. I don't think anyone with common sense would. It's just weird. But there's other videos going around on YouTube right now that are bringing up a lot of old stuff that we've already talked about and we've already been through and stuff like Mr. White calling the illegal army Nazis, alt-right, um, Mr. White works at Independent UK, I did cover, um, put a circle over his face because I don't even want to see this guy, he's one of those extremists he's just a reject i mean to call people who just because you like a liga nazis is just stupid but this is an older issue um and it's getting recycled again i don't and i just want people to know that like this is old so don't take this as new i mean it's stupid but what he said but this isn't new also, there is the recycling um, the Mary Sue site where this woman, uh, excuse me, a woman named Chelsea, named uh, Chelsea, went into a league really hard. Um, it was a very bad hit piece, and I'm shocked that that was even published. Um, it went after the entire fan base, um, a league in general. Even the sex bots and laughter, which was really strange. And it was really bad. It made his comments look weak. <laughs> Let's just say that. But I'm not going to give her any more relevance. She is a fucking moron, a tool. And the whole Mary Sue um, outlet is just pure trash, in my opinion. Just pure trash. But getting into today's video. <laughs> is well why we're really here is um about them i'm sorry i'm just typing in something right now is them shia banging this account so let me read this article because i can't show it on my uh obs because for some reason obs is being really bad today I just don't know why, but <laughs> I can read it to you. So, from start to finish. The future of a League of Battle Angels looking dire as Twitter removes trending hashtag and shadow band's official account from the platform. Imagine being compared to some of the worst human beings on Earth just because you like a movie. A League of fans all around the globe are being declared Nazis for showing their love for a League of Battle Angel. This is true. And as a consequence, the hashtag and official fan account are being suppressed by Twitter. Now, a lot of people don't have Twitter, and that's okay. I don't have a Twitter either. Um, in my opinion, the only reason why Twitter is relevant is because of the president. And take it as you will. If you hate him, you like him. I don't care. It's just every time you hear about Twitter, it's usually because of him. And you really don't hear about Twitter because of anything else, really. But the article goes on the word Nazi gets thrown around like there is no tomorrow especially if you are even so much as disagree or question a certain political ideology it no longer matters who you are or what you really believe if you do not confirm to a Pacific group think by the standards you are a Nazi by default that also has truth to it um get one down to because he just keeps going into that stuff a lot of people get called Nazis for the dumbest reasons and usually you can just ignore the unfounded, unfounded claims. But now that label is taken seriously no matter how ludicrous it is. American Jewish conservatives was called a Nazi by people who disagreed with him. 
Now he has mobs of mass angry people stalking him around the U.S. trying to silence him. Even a manga fan group has been labeled Nazis by a random high-strung freelance author. This guy wrote an article about how not um, Aliga fans are Nazis and should be punched. And now the group is shadow banned from Twitter. Mr. Um, Mr. White um, from U uh, Independent UK did call us Nazis. I do not know who he's referencing here. He should have put that in here. But I have not seen anyone be threatened with punches or being physically harmed or threatened in that way just for being a Liga fan. I do think that's a bit of an extreme because he did not put, you know what I'm saying, that in any, like he can't show any of that. By the way, this is Sausage Roll dot com if you want to look up for yourself and you can actually i'm just reading from the article um but um the articles that they post on here is actually pretty legit so but i haven't seen any posts saying people should be physically harmed or threatened for being a leah fan i have seen the nazis um things like being sexist and um pervert um and of course the huge Captain Marvel um, rivalry and all the hate from that. That's the only things I've seen. I've never seen anyone um, being f threatened with physical harm. But the article goes on. Today you are no longer innocent until proven guilty. You are so much as have an allegation against you. No matter how absurd it is your obligation, obligation to prove your innocence. And even if you completely debunk the outrageous allegations against you, it doesn't matter. The evidence to prove your innocence is completely ignored. This is what happened to the illegal army. The hashtag illegal army is just like any other fan society. It's a group of diverse human beings. This is very true. Remember, this went huge in China. Japan had a good bump. America had a pretty good bump. The fan base is massively diverse than the illegal army. That's just true. And the art, I mean, I don't know how anyone can even deny that fact. So I, it's just stupid to even try to deny that. It's just mad diverse. Um, we're a bunch of diverse human beings that share common interests and unite to show support for the creators. Just like the hashtag army, the BTS fan group, and hashtag bro army and PewDiePie fan group however the Aliga fan group is probably the least political group on the list this is also true I uh, usually don't see any political bullshit in any videos but to the outrage blogger Mr. White it didn't matter he's now referencing um, White again about his Nazi comments however of, um, the Aaliyah army this um, posted this um, tweet um, I wish I could show it but it's not working the stupid thing's not working but it says this I'll, I'll leave this um, the link in the description so you can see everything you can read everything for yourself um, the hashtag Aaliyah army this is the tweet that um, this page put out after buying a subscription to Twitter Promote, not only have our tweets been not getting promoted, but we have been shadow banned. You've only been promoting Aliga. Look at our timeline. We haven't been violating AG rules. This is true. But what's more disturbing is they're taking this individual's money who has an Aliga site just to promote Aliga. They're taking your money, not promoting you, and shadow banning you at the same time. That's incredible amount of thievery and backstabbing, especially for a multi-billion dollar company. That's really stupid. And that tweet was posted November 15th. So that was right, well, tech, yeah, three days ago when I'm doing this video now, because today's the 18th. But that's really bad. And I think, you know, people should really band together and stand up against things like that. I know that happens to a lot of conservatives, get shadow banned, especially Congress people. That was a big thing a year ago. I'm not taking sides, guys, with conservative and liberals. Don't 
depict that from this. I'm just saying what happened. And the Shadow Man, that's that's horrible, especially when they're taking money to to promote. It, it's it's honestly fucked up. And this girl, um, at very mooch. This is very interesting, and this proves it that they shadow banned this group, the hashtag Illegal Army, and it's called Vazerpam hashtag Ang A L H R G. But at very mooch is this another person who said confirmed and screenshotted the search results for hashtag um for at sorry at the um illegal army on twitter it didn't show up other people did so they literally confirmed that twitter shadow banned this group that's bad And that was also posted the same day that the Aaliyah army posted that. So not only is, has it been proven that they've been taking money, not promoting um, her, the promote that, sh that they want to promote, like um, ads and stuff, say, oh, subscribe here, you know, whatever, how Twitter works. And this person at very mooch takes a screenshot and confirms that they've been shadow banned <sighs> all because you like a movie all because you like a fictional character and not only is it a fictional character it's plagued by a latino a latino woman who is an incredible actress and playing amazing character but yet that's wrong you don't deserve to have a voice you don't deserve to have a fan group you don't deserve to promote but we'll take your money yeah that's that's nice it's just insane um a lot of people are right now worried about well this because twitter you know a lot of these companies work together in what they call the chain of networks um, the network chain which is like they sell data to each other which is kind of illegal but they do it anyway especially with how um uh, they lobby politicians well like netflix facebook um spotify uh youtube and a lot of other companies like they work together in a chain like they read your stuff and they sell information this has already been reported on multiple news channels and stations on live television and Will it affect the sequel? I don't know. But. Uh, I would like to see Rosa speak out about, about this. Um, because they're also. That girl Chelsea was going after. James Cameron as well. And. Um, Mr. Rodriguez as well too. Um, for their like. Faggish. For this for the Alita thing it's just really messed up to what people are doing to a Wookiee Geek film and the people who surround it including the fan base I mean we're the most speaking for myself we're like the most just normal people just like a manga a good manga to life movie like we've, let's be honest we've gotten the most shiggy shiggiest manga to life movies Dragon Ball Z Evolution ghosting shell i mean we have one good one and they hate it it's like what the hell like we can't win man we can't win Ugh. but the shadow ban i know it goes deeper it's like this hatred uh, that these people have i'm not gonna call them leftist i'm not gonna call them rightist i was called uh, i don't know what to call them they just hate this hate hateful people that just want to cause trouble. Um, I guess you can call them trolls, but you know these people. Like it's the Twitter Foundation. It's their people who work for them who do this to people like us, and it's really bad. But that's basically the summary of what happened. 
um, I know this video is going over 14 minutes and that's really bad but it's better than sitting down through a half an hour video with everyone bringing up old hate and that we get and blaming us for this and that and this and that it, it, this is just what happened I'll link down the article in the description but the next video will be about sex bots that's where I'm going with the channel and if you're interested in that interesting in that um, hit that subscribe button and you'll get all the new stuff um yes Oliga will be part of some of the videos and if anything new comes out about Oliga I will definitely make a video about that I love Oliga it's in my opinion my number one best movie like I love that movie so much and the character is so amazing but if you are angry right now and you're feeling like Ur, like I hate these people like who say this stuff about like the movie and all this and this movement just remember that there's a baby yoga <laughs> this is the most most adorable thing I've ever seen baby yoga just look at his face <laughs> it's adorable you can't be mad looking at that face you cannot just can't but gang if you like if you like anything you see here today hit that like button guys and if you want to help me grow this community it's getting pretty big um pretty quick i mean we're only at 56 subscribers but if you guys want to be a part of this and grow help me grow it that would be so amazing because i'm just going to be diving into other things people are afraid to and just say it how it is and if you like that kind of content and you want to follow me just hit that subscribe button and let's grow this thing and i'll see you guys in the next one take care